Peter Bowles has died at the age of 85, his agent has confirmed. English actor Peter Bowles, best known for his roles into The Manor Born and Only When I Laugh, has died at the age of 85. The news was confirmed earlier today by his agent Gavin Barker. Peter died after a battle with cancer, it was shared earlier today. The actor, who graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, has had a long career on stage and screen. Some of his notable parts have included appearing in Victoria, The Informers, The Steel and Lilting. However, he is probably best known for playing Richard de Vere into The Manor Born. He starred in the BBC show from 1979 until 1981 as the businessman. He later came back to the role in a 2007 special with co-star Dame Penelope Keith. In a statement to the PA News Agency, his death was confirmed earlier today. This read, the actor Peter Bowles has sadly passed away at the age of 85 from cancer. Starting his career at the Old Vic Theatre in 1956, he starred in 45 theatrical productions ending at the age of 81 in The Exorcist at the Phoenix Theatre. He worked consistently on stage and screen, becoming a household name on TV as the archetypal English gent into The Manor Born, Only When I Laugh, The Bounder and Lytton's Diary, which he devised himself. He leaves his wife of over 60 years, Sue, and their three children Guy, Adam and Sasha. Peter grew up in Nottingham before heading to London to study acting at RADA and begin his theatre career. In his early work, he trod the boards with the Old Vic Theatre Company as well as performing with the Royal Shakespeare Company. On screen, he has starred in series like The Avengers and The Saint before landing to the manor born in his 40s. In recent years, he appeared in films like Together and Off the Rails, with the latter being his final role. He also starred as the Duke of Wellington in the ITV show Victoria from 2016 until 2019. Following the news of his death, tributes have been pouring in for the star. Piers Morgan wrote, Rip Peter Bowles, 85. Wonderful actor who exuded roguish British charm. Loved him into the manner born, Lytton's diary The Bounder. Sad news.